Hey there, this is uh, Chris Myers, capsule backer number 207, and later uh, joined the company uh, as chief operating officer in 2017. Uh, I am going to walk you through the install of this capsule today, uh, provisioning process, and then grouping two capsules together. Uh, it's going to be a couple of different videos. You can break it into pieces, or you can watch the Super Cup, which will have them all together. Uh, we're going to be doing these in a third floor uh, bedroom, which is a pretty big room. Uh, it's got uh, five windows. It's going to require uh, two capsules uh, because the size of the room. So to start with that, we're going to start with uh, what's in the box. So when you open it up, you're going to see a... Uh, styrofoam insert here and one of the first things you should see is this uh, packet which has a uh, quick start guide, a measuring tape, uh, and operational manual. You're also going to see uh, the window frame adapter uh, and the hardware uh, that is required to install. Okay so when you uh, lift this first partition out, you're going to see that the capsule is in there. Now, yours coming direct from the factory um, should be uh, wrapped in a, a plastic overwrap. Um, this one has been taken out uh, and tested previously, and so uh, it's missing the overwrap. I'm going to take this out. You can see I can lift it up by the uh, handle. That is a structural handle, uh, and that handle can support the uh, entire weight of the capsule. And then I'm going to move the box off here. Okay, so what I'm going to show you here is uh, the basics on how to assemble the window frame adapter. Most important part is to uh, measure the window that you're going to be installing this in to see how many of the uh, little segments you're going to want to use uh, in that window. Now in this case, uh, I have a 34 inch window, so I'm right between 7 and 8. So I think what we're going to do is just go with eight. And I'll, I'll show you this briefly before um, we install the window unit. So here's the basic parts of this. You're going to use four screws uh, to assemble. In my case, I have eight links here that I'm going to use. Uh, and I'm going to put them on this window frame. Very simple. The, the frame itself is very light. And this is an advantage, obviously, because you can put this together uh, and then install it in the window that you want to, to use. There are two tracks uh, for your window frame, and you're just going to match them up. The top track is different from the bottom track, uh, and they match up and they slide in. Before you do that, you're going to want to assemble um, the pieces. So let me show you how to do that. Basically, we have these two little tabs here, and we want to be careful, uh, and this is probably the, the trickiest part of it, we be careful in assembling this that we don't break these tabs off because um, they're not exactly huge. First thing that I will do is take a look at these pieces. And what I'm looking for here is specifically that there is a gap. Uh, and that gap is necessary to slide the pieces together and also to slide uh, the piece onto uh, the window frame adapter. And so they just go like this. Now, I'm going to level them all up, and here's what you can see, interesting. They expand quite a bit and contract quite a bit, so you've got a range of sizes that you can cover with these. Once we have it like this, we're going to want to put this onto the track. There we go. Once these are balanced, we're going to take this. Now, this little L bracket should come uh, on your unit. Some windows uh, this is a good fit for, and you should keep it on and use it. And some, when you put it on, you'll see it's not really made for your window, and therefore you can take it off if you don't need it. I should also mention that this installation that I'm demonstrating here is on a um, wood 
window. And it's very easy to install on a wood window because you don't need to pre-drill uh, and because the wood screws work great. Um, on a vinyl window, uh, you're going to have uh, a different set of challenges than wood. You may have to pre-drill. Uh, and there's also a, a support bracket that comes for vinyl windows that I won't be showing here, but that is clearly uh, illustrated in the manual. In order to get these guys to work correctly, a screw goes into the end uh, and just holds this in place. Now for my installation, again, no drilling is required because these are wood windows and these are all wood screws. Uh, and what we have here uh, is a tools that I need are just the screwdrivers. Phillips and a flathead. Flathead more for convenience than for anything else. That's it. Now this is uh, locked in and I can uh, expand and contract that at will. So I'll do the other part off camera and then we'll flip to the window installation. So now we take the window frame adapter as it's assembled here. You want this on the bottom uh, and then we want to put it in the window. If I size it correctly, it should fit pretty closely. It does fit pretty closely. And then I want to try to get it to center. And I'm, I am dead center. I am dead uh, on center. So now at this point, I just want to make sure I have a good tight fit and I'm going to be putting some screws in. Uh, as I said, I don't need to pre-drill uh, because this is very uh, easy to, to uh, screw into wood. So there's going to be a screw here, a screw here, a screw here. Those are very crucial. Screws here and here. And then there'll be a screw uh, on the bottom uh, that will hold it steady. Um, so that'll take about uh, five minutes of manual screwing uh, to put those in. And then when I've done that, I'll come back and show you the result. And so now all the screws are in, and you can see it's a pretty tight fit, and it's not really going anywhere, uh, which is great. The thing to think about when you do this is to put all of these locking tabs to the neutral or open position. If you put all the locking tabs to the open position, you're going to be able to slide the capsule right in. Now, the way that I like to do this is to hold it. Uh, like a suitcase. So you can pick it up, the, ta uh, the handle here is structural, you can pick it up like a suitcase, and then if you tilt it, you'll notice that there is an additional handle uh, on the back that allows you to do this sort of a balancing with it. Once you have that set, uh, then you just rest it on the ledge here and slide. And as long as those locking tabs are out of the way, you will be able to install it very easily. And there you go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is set up the app uh, and quickly provision uh, these capsules so that you can control them remotely with the app. Uh, and then because we have two in this setup, we're going to group them together so you can see how that works too. But we'll take it in pieces. So. Here's the first screen you see when you start the app up. Tap Get Started. Say what's your name in this case. It's a dummy account, so I'm just going to say our name's Capsule. Zip code. That is beautiful downtown Philadelphia. That is helpful because we can both uh, understand uh, your location uh, and pull um, weather, but also time data uh, from that zip code. Uh, password. In this case, uh, we will just make it a dummy password as well. And there we go. So that gets us uh, an account. We can come back and log in uh, with that account in the future, uh, and then we can. Uh, add more devices, etc. So let's start by uh, adding a device. We've installed the capsule. Uh, we are connected to Wi-Fi. Uh, we have activated pairing mode by pressing down that uh, button and having it flash. Uh, and now you see the directions here. We're going to jump out and go to the Wi-Fi settings 
and select the network capsule internal Wi-Fi. We are going to join this network. There we go. And in so doing, we are hooked up to the capsule. There we go. So it's going to ask me to select a um, Wi-Fi, and I will. And then we're going to uh, name this device by location. So I have a couple of options here. I can pick one of these defaults, uh, or I can um, select my own. In this case, because we're going to be doing one of two, I'm going to name it Master Bedroom uh, 1. I am now going to pop over and provision the other capsule. I'm going to go through the exact same process here. I'm going to press and hold that button on the other capsule until the light turns blue. We're going to release. It's going to flash. We are in pairing mode, therefore. I'm going to jump out, look for that network, and it is broadcasting. And I'm going to jump back to the Castle app. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do uh, this one as two. Uh, the device states uh, were saved. It took about 30 seconds for uh, each of the devices to come online and now you can see uh, that we're cooling to 72 degrees is the target on each one uh, and it's 76 degrees at the one and 75 degrees at the other. So a little bit of a variance in the, the temperature in the room but it is kind of a big room so that's uh, normal. They'll get uh, together once they've been operating for a little bit longer. And now we go to the next step uh, in the process that I'm interested in showing, which is the uh, grouping. So we're going to go and create a group, and we're going to call this group uh, Master Bedroom because that's what the room is, and that's what the device names are. And then we're just going to select, uh, in this case, we could select all, which are the only two I have set up on the app right now, or you can select them individually. So we're going to do that. That's our new group. Okay, and now you can see uh, that we have uh, grouped them, uh, and we're going to do a group set point. Okay, here is our uh, master bedroom group, which includes master bedroom one and master bedroom two. And now I'm going to give these guys a set point, and that set point is 72 degrees. I'm going to say cool to 72 degrees, and that's going to be uh, the way the group operates. So these two are now working in tandem. If I click again on them, I can set a five-day schedule. Schedules are active. I click add to add a schedule, and I can do uh, any number of days of the week and I can pick a starting time and an ending time. Purposes here. Say we're going to start the schedule at 8 a.m. We're going to end it at 10 p.m. And we're going to cool to 72 degrees.